Cleopatra's Needle is the oldest monument in London. Indeed, it is older than the city itself. It was originally erected in Heliopolis in Egypt in around 1500 BC and is covered in hieroglyphics, spelling out the pharaoh's name. In 12 BC, it was moved to Alexandria where it lay prone in the sand until its removal to London. This was not an easy job. The obelisk is nearly 70 foot high and weighs 168 tons. So when Mehmet Ali, Viceroy of Egypt, first offered it to Britain in 1819, the British government felt it was too difficult and too expensive to transport. It wasn't until 1877 when the wealthy surgeon Erasmus Wilson decided to pay the £10,000 transportation cost that it set sail for Britain. The journey from Egypt to London was not without difficulty. The obelisk was nearly lost at sea during a storm in the Bay of Biscay. A plaque commemorates the six men who lost their lives rescuing the obelisk. In its base was placed a time capsule, which included, amongst other things, a portrait of Queen Victoria, a box of coins of the day, a box of cigars, a baby's bottle, and portraits of 12 of the great beauties of the time. The two faux Egyptian bronze sphinxes guarding the needle were added in 1882, and on their plinths bear bomb scars from the First World War. Other Egyptian flourishes nearby include buxom winged sphinxes on the benches. No longer protected by the sands of Alexandria, the granite is worn down and the hieroglyphics have begun to fade. Indeed, the needle has probably suffered more in its 130 years in polluted London than the 3,000 years it was in Egypt.